Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee wee bird's cradle. Look at all these pacifiers. <laughs> I have, these are all the honey bugs that um, came in box openings or I purchased them from McPherson's online. Um, and I already own like, I have some baggies here that I have magnified, well, sorry, magnified uh, pacifiers already back in the day I used to put everyone's name of who they matched with um, this one years ago back in 2015 this could have been for Jamie or Francine um, these are my newer silicone kind that um, mostly I want to keep these for props so as is but um, these are they're like cut down like this. They are made for Waverly. She is my, um, oh, oh, Gertie by Lorley Eagles. Um, these ones have, these have been cut already. So, but I want to show you another way of, oh, these have been cut too. And here's some magnets I could. these I bought from a hardware store make sure if you ever buy any of these you want the rare earth super magnets and I bought this at a hardware store where the super glue is or like the framing like when you frame pictures and they have super glues and they have hooks for walls and they also have magnets in that aisle but make sure that you want the rare earth kind because they are the strongest and they so happen to be this size i don't know if there's a because i used to buy them from ebay and then um i actually buy them from mcpherson's now when i get um honey bugs i'll tell you about that in a second i guess these are eight millimeters by three millimeters so this is a really good size to use so I'll leave that package out now i have chio here with me she is the um kai sculpt by ping lao and i want to modify her some pat look how cute this is oh my goodness okay this is chio her hair is a little bit messy i did not <laughs> she's so cute oh my goodness i wish you could see her true lighting and she is pierced ears those are her original earrings that came with her she was reborn by asha of pickles and tea on youtube and i really 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 adore her so much so let's just see if this would look cute oh i can i love this color pink so much okay i will be right back Aw, so here she is. Now, these are honey bugs that I recently purchased from McPherson's online. And when I order these, um, they come with an option. You can buy them as is or with two magnets. And I always say with two magnets because um, it's cheaper that way. Wait, I'm trying to open this. And these look like this and this size from the store hardware store it's a little bit smaller but a little bit thicker but i mean these will work too okay so i have my scissors you'll need scissors you'll need pacifiers that you would love to use for your baby and this is that tape that bandage tape um sometimes you can find it like in a beige a band-aid color like i'll show you this is a first aid kit 
Okay, I don't want to put this on Chew's head. Okay. This is a first aid kit by Johnson Johnson that I own. Some of the tape will come in like this kind of fabric. But my tape is going to be like this. And it's still it's still cloth feeling. So this is a cloth bandage tape. And this particular roll I bought I got from this more inexpensive for sea kit. This one I use for camping and it's by a Walmart brand. This was on sale for like five dollars one time. They go on sale and this one, this Johnson Johnson, was once on sale for like twelve dollars. But normally they're worth a lot. Well, that's again that's in Canada, northern Canada. Be a lot cheaper for you guys. So today I only have the three things. Oh, and the magnets. So if you don't buy these from eBay or Amazon, I bought these at the hardware store. I want to try and do this. So um, I also want to mention quickly that before I made my boho style pacifiers with... Um, the string that I knotted and macrame together. Uh, this is a project I made before I knew how to do that. And this was super, super easy. This was made from these beads and this string came in a bracelet kit for kids. And this I bought from Amazon like quite a while ago. I do have a video on how I made this and it's super, super easy. And this is super, super easy. So, okay, let's see. Can I zoom you in while I'm... Okay. I just hope, hopefully I will not go out of frame. Um, let me, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am right-handed and I didn't really want to bump the camera at all. So, let's see if this will work. I hope so. So, here's my pacifier that I've chosen. It's a beautiful light pink nook. I'm pretty sure it's a nook. It looks like them. But um, it has bumblebees on it. It's so pretty. So, I will get my scissors and cut this off completely. Okay, first I'll do a quick snap. I'm trying to look through the camera, so it's a little awkward for me. But you want to pull on it. And an actual better way to do this is to get one of those box cutters, which I do have. But if you have scissors... Just be very careful. Now see, the scissors, that's as low as I can get. But if I had cutters, I wonder if this will work, but not, that's not sharp enough. Some people will just try and pull on them, but I can't pull on them anymore. So if this is as small as you can get, like some people try and pull on these, these nooks have a pretty strong in here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I'm not going to be using, I was looking for my, um, my box cutters or whatever they're called. I have like, actually, have one more spot to think of where I can look. But in the meantime, okay. Again, the sun is nice and bright and I found them. This I got from the dollar store many years ago. So, I will use 
this. So carefully cut at this and then pull. Oops. Okay, so here's my tape. No, I don't mind using this because it's really, really old. But this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a cloth and it's so old it's starting to tear apart. Which does totally fine. But sometimes you can buy this stuff like in the cloth, the dark brown cloth. So let's try this. Yeah, okay, I'll try and get Chio in the frame. Oh, she's so beautiful. I just gently want to move her. She is one of my most cherished girls in my collection ever. So, this is where I would love to have it. Now, I'm going to try my best and... Oh, I see. Okay, look. Her cheeks are raised. Now, look when I put this here. You could see right through. See, it doesn't, it's not even foot because her cheeks are high. That's why the honey bug wouldn't really, it slides up to her nose because her cheeks are high. Mmm. Good to test out. So look at this. Look at all that huge gap. Can you see that? Can you see that there's a huge, oops, <laughs> I'm picking at her nose, whoops, <laughs> here's her mouth, look at all that gap, so this won't work but it looks so cute, so what am I going to do, let's just try it anyway because you know what, when you use tape, It'll be totally, like you can, it's not permanent is what I'm saying. So here's that bandage tape. And I'm just going to rip at it. I don't care about these pieces of garbage. But see, the best thing about this using tape is that you won't burn your fingers and if you accidentally place it wrong you can easily take it apart now as for the first set you could probably buy this from the dollar store even here in northern canada i'm sure i've seen bandage first aid stuff way up here in the north so what if i oh Oh, it's starting to slip, starting to slip. Okay, what if I made, like, the magnets thick enough to where it would be off of her cheeks? Oh. <laughs> I was going to cut into this, but look, I can just open it from the back. What if I used another... Holy... Oh. These are strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, what if I used another one and see and try and raise it? Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just so excited. How is this hobby is like so much fun? Okay, this is totally not, okay, <sighs> yeah. 
See, it keeps breaking my bags, probably because it's so old. But hey, it's still really sticky. So that's the important thing. So let's put this tape over and cover. I'm covering it up all around so it's protective. Okay, and I don't want to, I can't rip that. So where's my scissors? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm giddy today. I, um, Penny had a live today, a uh, lighthearted. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Penny. Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. And she had a live today. And my favorite people were in her live today. There was Mia there, Wishes and Wonder, and Nicole. Um, oh, I'm so sorry for Special Angel Art Dolls. You know, and we just had a wonderful, wonderful conversation. And it really made me happy yay it works she is so cute oh my goodness Gio oh you know what I'm gonna have to dress her into a summer outfit so yeah I just and I had to elongate the magnet to make it taller so it would be like if you could see that like elongated here because her cheeks are raised up so it depends on the kit that you have like how their face is but using this over um a hot glue which i've used hot glue before many times but with tape if i really wanted this pacifier for another baby and the magnet and it wasn't the right polarity, I can easily rip this apart and get some tape and do it all over again. So yeah, this tape is amazing. This is always handy to have to get right close to, like when you're cutting off the nipple part, but it's not a necessity, but I would highly recommend one of these. These are those, um, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, I call them packing tape knives, or like box knives, but I know there's an actual name for them. I can't think of that right now. And I can't see it in my head because I've never typed it before. So, I never even read it before. I just heard it before. So, I'm not really good with audio clues. I'm really good with visual clues. Except for when it comes to music. Oh, look at her. Chio, you're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Such a common hobby. I have a beautiful pink dress in mind for you. Yes, I do. <laughs> so yes, guys, I'm going to go for now with Chio and change her into something very beautiful. How oh, chill when your hair needs to be calm. Okay. Put you down. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. And I love and appreciate all of you so much. Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot. So please, match a hand. High five me, guys. Have a great day. I love all of you. And then until next time, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.